Well, as promised, I'm going to show how I created those nice looking uh, image uh, radio buttons and checkboxes in the previous uh, video. And I guess I'll just create a new uh, project and call it uh, Picture Box 2. Uh, click OK. And give ourselves a little space here. And essentially what they are is picture boxes. So go over to common controls and drag over a picture box. And by default that's pretty big and we actually want it to be really little. So go down to the size and make this uh, 24 comma 24. So we get a little tiny picture box. And then to put the image in this, you want to go over to uh, Image and click on the ellipse. And we can just directly import the image into the uh, properties or resources. So hit Import and say, these actually aren't the images I'm interested in. But if we go over to Image Types, and switch this to uh, all files and we'll, we'll get some more variety here and I think the first one I wanted was the world image so open that and then click OK and that's sort of good but we want to change the uh, We want to change the size mode from normal to uh, stretch image. And that'll basically cause the image to fill the whole uh, uh, area. In fact, in this case, it'll actually shrink it down so it'll fill the whole area and it'll look a lot better. And then I essentially did a copy and paste to create all the others since they're all about the same size and drag this underneath. Maybe use the uh, arrow key to move it up close so it looks good. It looks like it's all part of the same image. And then for this one I select the image and once again do an import into the resources and I think underneath that I wanted world random so I selected the random dice clicked OK and OK and you see these two images get juxtaposed and then it's just a matter of dragging over a uh, a radio button putting it next to it and getting rid of the uh, text since the image sort of is what the meaning of the button is. And drag it over right next to it. I think once again it's probably best to use the arrow keys to make exact adjustments. And that's essentially it. I do essentially the same thing with a checkbox. I copy that and put the different image in and put a checkbox underneath and get rid of the text and so on. So that's the basic uh, technique for creating uh, image radio buttons and image checkboxes. Well I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.